today I'm looking at flamingos. Now why would a snake man want to look at flamingos? Well, watch this video and find out. I'm the snake artist and I draw some of the most beautiful animals in the world. When I don't use photos, I don't always get the best sketch. But I love doing this and I want to share it with you. So come along on the adventure as I fill my journal with some of the most amazing wildlife. They've got this very interesting way of feeding. They put their heads upside down, they suck in a lot of water, and then they push down, and as they're pushing down, the water goes out through the beak, and it has these little teeth there that filter up all the little crustaceans and algae. And the flamingo is a very interesting bird in that it's one of those rare birds that actually feeds milk to its young. Now, we've got pigeons, we've got penguins that do this, and then we've got flamingos. And because of uh, what the flamingo eats, it eats uh, like little crustaceans and algae in the water, and that gives the normally white flamingo a pink or reddish sort of plumage. So when they're feeding their young, it's not milk colour, it's not white, it's blood red. They look like they're coughing up blood. Or just maybe think of it as uh, raspberry cordial or something, raspberry juice. It looks like they're drinking raspberry juice. The reason they have to feed milk to their young is their young don't have that bent beak for feeding upside down. They have a straight beak, they look a bit like a gosling. And as they get older, that beak sort of bends and becomes that flamingo feeding system. But until that happens, mum or dad have to give milk to the young. So there's a few reasons why I might love flamingos. Uh, they have a similar lifespan to snakes, about 30 years, which is very similar to you know, my tiger snake. But probably it's the curves in the neck, the beautiful slender thing. As an artist, I'm actually quite attracted to things like vines and octopus tentacles and uh, birds with long necks and of course snakes. I'm back in the studio and I'm going to give this a bit of colour. Now interesting about the colour of this guy, I tend to be using deep oranges for the shady bits. Then I'm using a cooler red mixed with white for the lighter bits. You see, if you mix orange and white together, you get sort of like a Caucasian flesh tone. The overall look is more of a pink look, and yet they've got these deep oranges in there as well. I'm quite happy with this nice splash of colour in my wild journal. If you've enjoyed this video, why don't you check out some of these other videos? Click on them and maybe subscribe, or maybe not. I'm not forcing you. Good choice.